So the day has finally come. So Horus Heresy is out today. Horus Heresy 2 Electric Heresy Boogaloo, as we like to call it. Or as I like to call it, the Horless Heresy, as we have quite a few boxes of it here. Now, I myself picked mine up from Athena Games in Norwich. Hello, everyone from Athena, if you're watching. Now, while I was picking it up, someone said to me, Hello Marcel, and I did say hello, but I have to admit I didn't know who it was. So I do apologise to whoever it was who said hello to me. It must have been a long time since we last spoke. Anyway, I paid for all of these with my own money, so everything we hear is going to be impartial and non-biased. Also, I do apologise for my sunburn. I may have been out for a 10k run in preparation for the Norwich 10k in a few weeks' time, and I am slacking rather a lot in my training regime. But I blame that on having a baby recently. It's the best excuse you'll ever use. Anyway, that's enough waffle. Let's jump in and have a look at all these goodies. Okay, I couldn't get it all in one picture, but here is the Horless Heresy, as I like to uh, call it. We have a few boxes of bits and bobs ready to kickstart this new Heresy army, which you can see there is going to be a non-loyalist army. I can't even remember the name of them because we're just too excited. We're too ready to get on with it. So uh, in a couple of minutes, I'll set up the unboxing cam and we'll have a little look at just what we can see here. And I think these are gonna be the standout purchase. Okay, so first up in our haul is a box so big I can't even get it in the screen. So I'm going to quickly open this using my trusty unboxing knife. Um, I am still here. I haven't abandoned you. I'm just cutting the packing tape at the end of the box. There we go. And oh, what's this inside? It is a couple of boxed sets. Now, we're gonna to have to move the camera again, I think. So there we are in our hall. We have our first thing, which is obviously the Warhammer 40,000 Horus. No, it's not the 40,000, is it? It's just Warhammer 30,000, the Horus Heresy, but we don't have just the one box. We have a second here, which is taking up all the camera space. So let's quickly move on to the next thing. So next up in the hall, we bought some paints, which you can see down here, and we can obviously fit those in a lot easier. First up, we purchased Vallejo model color, German gray. We also purchased Vallejo game color, Imperial blue, and this was an accident because it was supposed to be air color. We also purchased Vallejo model color, dark gray. And we also purchased Vallejo Game Color Magic Blue. And like I said earlier, we were after Game Air Imperial Blue, and that's what we have here. So at least one of them was correct. So next up, we have a bag, and I cannot remember what's in this, to be fair. What? Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is something else I purchased at the time. It's a running vest. Nothing at all to do with heresy. Do apologise. Next up, we have the Horus Heresy Legions Astartes Special Weapons Upgrade Set. And someone has given this box a bit of a squeeze. Lots of glare, I do apologise. Next up, we have the Warhammer Horus Heresy Heavy Weapons Upgrade Set, again with a lot of glare from the plastic film on the top. Here's the one I know you were all dying to see, it's the My Home Casino 10 piece dice set and this thing cost me £1.30 the back has literally nothing on. Um, I wonder how well these are going to roll. Oh shit. So something interesting I've noticed on this Legion's Astarte Kratos Assault Tank is if you look at the side of the box here, the side of the Imperial Fist Tank, it's very hard to get into shot. 
this one here, you'll see a batch code, which says, if you're enjoying this video, then please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. That means you, Andy. If you are enjoying the content on the channel, then please consider joining the Patreon, the link to which is in the description below or up here somewhere. We also have our Horus Heresy, not Codex, but Liber Hereticus Traitor Legions Astartes Army Book. I went for the Traitor Book because I have plans for a Traitor Army. And look at this. There's a little dent on the edge there. I could go back and swap it, but at the end of the day, it's going to be more damaged than that in a few days' time. Hmm... Whatever could be the Abujama. Hmm, exactly. Whatever could this be? Uh, special delivery priority prioritaire. Let's open this up and see what's inside. Make sure we don't gash our own hands. Oh, that's lovely. We appear to have what looks like a Lidl's brochure. What the hell is this? Oreos. Three. 29 and they are cup to Zaplak Maniej. I think this is in Polish. Interesting. Buy one, get one free on the Nui lollies. Bargain. This is the thing we want from inside. Probably has, yes. Cut that sellotape. Unroll. Unroll. Lots of unrolling and it's come. In a tube. This seems to be an excessive amount of packaging so far. Cut this bit here. Can we see? Oh, there it is. There's the goodies inside. I wonder if you can see what that is. I hope I don't spill this everywhere. It's like giving birth. Cool. Come out. There we go. Some Tamiya, or Tamiya, as some people like to call it. Panel line accent colour in black. Looking forward to using this, never tried it before. Next up we have more glare and this time it's the Warhammer 40,000. It's not 40,000, I don't know why I keep saying that. It's the Warhammer Horus Heresy Legions Astartes Demos Pattern Rhino. And uh, this looks pretty good. I'd say I quite like this artwork on the old uh, box over here. Marvellous. What's next? Next up is another box with a redacted address. Let's open this up and see what's inside. Oh. We have a please do not bend uh, information on that. Lots of card packaging and, oh, that's kind of given the game away, hasn't it? The Legion's dice for the Horus Heresy, the Night Lords. And uh, I wonder how well these will roll. Anything else in there? No, just tat. So, yeah, I'm uh, intrigued to see which dice will play better in a game. Will it be the cheap My Home Casino dice set or the Horus Heresy Legion Heresy dice of the Night Lords, which cost considerably more money than these cheapos? So as you can see, we have a cardboard thing with a giveaway on there. Let's open this up and have a look. Get rid of that. So here you can see if we just lift up the skirt the Night Lord's Legion decal sheet, of which I probably should have bought two, but that's a long way down the road until we get decals on anyway. This bit looks blank, but it actually has some lightning bolts on that no one uses, so I think this is a bit of a waste of space, to be honest. Anyway, let's continue. And lastly, we have the Warhammer Horus Heresy. We're not going to call it Warhammer 40,000 this time. Legion's Astartes. Kratos Heavy Assault Tank, which consists of one miniature. Um, any nice art on the back again? Yes. Marvellous. Quite a big box, actually. Check that out. So that was my Horus 
Heresy. Did you pick up the second edition of Horus Heresy? Obviously, you can see I may have done. Which parts of the new releases did you pick up? I myself may have accidentally picked up one of everything apart from the Loyalist book. Whoever wants to play Loyalists, eh? Boring. What do you think was the most exciting release of Horus Heresy 2? I myself am probably going to go with either the Kratos here or possibly even the Mark VI Marines because Mark VI Marines are the best mark of marines out there. What are your plans for Heresy 2? My plans, which have probably been given away now with those unboxings, is the plan of a new Night Lord's army. We already have a painted Kurz somewhere downstairs in the cabinets. We might have to bring him up, give him a dust off, and show you what he looks like. I hope the painting holds up though. Anyway, if you want to see some more unboxing videos, and I know you do, then check out the playlist up here somewhere. As always, thank you very much for watching and always remember to drill your barrels.